Come on. All right, joining us right now, live from Pac-12 Media Day on the Fox lot on Pico, is the Dog Father Part Two. That's right, the King of Seattle, the G by the Lake, drives a boat to work. It is head coach Steve Sarkeesian. Coach, how you doing? What's cracking? I'm doing great, man. Um, it's it's good to be home. You know, I got a chance to see my folks here for a couple days and um, enjoy the beach a little bit. And uh, now I'm just kind of getting that little antsy itch going, man. I'm ready to start football. So many people are saying, especially at this media day, that the Pac-12, Pac-12 has arrived and the Pac-12 is here now and look out for the Pac-12. And I'm thinking, well, look, you had the second and third guy in the Heisman. You had Oregon in the BCS championship. You were at USC the last decade. You know what was happening there. Has the Pac-12 arrived? Or I think the Pac-10 was pretty much there, weren't they? I think we were there. I think now, though, that the exposure's there, and that's what's important. You know, the fact that, that uh, people are hearing about the Pac-12 more, uh, understanding who the coaches are in the Pac-12. I, I don't know if people knew I was the coach at Washington there for a while. They just kind of thought it was the Huskies. So the reality of it is the exposure's there. And I think now that the exposure's there, the talents can be shown. And whether it's LaMichael James or Andrew Luck or Chris Polk or Matt Park, whoever that is, um, they can get the notoriety that they truly deserve. Now you mentioned Chris Polk. Steve Sarkeesian joining us right now on the Petros and Money Show on Fox Sports Radio. Chris Polk is running around. I was up at your spring game, though. You have about three or four backs that are all big, tough guys. And it seems like the whole team has become that. Very physical, very gritty team. And that seems to be the personality that you guys have going into this 2011 season. That's definitely what we want. Um, you know, I, I totally believe in the fact that you got to run the ball and you got to run the ball physicality and you got to play really good defense if you want to be a good football program for an extended period of time. And Chris obviously gives us that. He's a physical guy. He runs a lot like yourself, Pete. He's you know, <laughs> kind of powers through things and plows through things, but we do have a few more guys that embody that same characteristic, which I think is vitally important if you want to sustain you know, winning for an extended period of time. Talk about replacing Jake Locker. The way you guys finished the season last year was so inspiring, and then Jake goes number eight to Tennessee. It's a great story, great turnaround story from the way his career started at UW. Talk about replacing him and what you're going to expect from Price. <laughs> well, replacing him is not easy. Um, I, I think Jake did so much for our program, not only on the field but off the field, his leadership. And, you know, Chris Polk has touched on it numerous times that he's taught him how to be a leader, and that's he, he's still in our program because of that. You know, so many of our guys have grown up watching Jake and how he leads. On the field, we got a guy, Keith Price, a local kid, St. John Bosco, um, who plays the game. And I go back to when we were growing up. I, you know, Charlie Ward is who I think of when I see him. He's got a basketball background, throws a beautiful ball, he's got a great field. His teammates love him and respect him. Um, and, I, and I think he's going to be a guy that's only going to get better as he starts playing football week in and week out. Now, you talked about the Pac-12, and there's more eyeballs and more exposure coast to coast, but it seems like there's a groundswell again in Seattle for the Huskies. It seems like people are starting to get really excited about Washington football again. Do you feel that, and how has that built since you showed up in town? Well, it's been great. Uh, we've got tremendous fans. It's a, it's a, it, they're just excited and hungry for football. And Now, as we're moving into year three, and we're coming off a bowl win, and uh, people are excited about 2011, the stadium renovation with the brand new Husky Stadium coming in 2013. There's, there's a lot to be excited about, and our fans were, were starving for it, and now that it's there, they're, they're just eating it all up. Now, yesterday, there was a sighting of you on Rat Beach right after Torrance. What were you doing in the South Bay, and were you shirtless? Did you have a rash guard on? Were you skimboarding? What was the deal? I was shirtless, and I, and I had to... <laughs> My, the whole idea is I wanted to get my kids down there to get shore pounded by the waves at Rat Beach because that's how I grew up, and that's the only way you know how to survive in that water is you got to get thrown around and tossed around, and uh, we loved it. We had a great afternoon, and um, I'm sure they're probably back there today with their cousins. What's life like by the water in Washington and Seattle as compared to your life as a South Bay surfer guy at West Horns High? Well, different. You know, I'd, I'd never been on a boat in my life. I'd never driven a boat or owned a boat, and so doing that now in Seattle and cruising across Lake Washington headed to work is an extremely unique experience obviously and my kids are wakeboarding and all that kind of junk off the back so we have a great time it's a beautiful community and we're fortunate to be around the people that we are. Steve Sarkeesian we follow you on Twitter and we see the shots that you put of the Huskies lining up or stretching out and getting ready is there a theme going into this camp? Oh uh, the theme for me, and it's going to get across to our kids, is, is about consistency. You know, we, we were a team that for the last two years we've had some really great highs, beating some good football teams, some exciting late 
late game wins to a team that struggled for weeks at a time where we got beat up pretty good. And so the goal is to find the consistency. We're playing that brand of football we've been talking about week in and week out, regardless of what just occurred or what might lie ahead. Shore Pounder, Steve Sarkeesian, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank right. you, Coach. Thanks, Pete. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Coach. Yep.